today I brought back a haul from my LGS, which consists of this sorcery box that I paid 125 for, Lord of the Rings draft box, which is 160, and then a couple extra packs down here for four dollars a piece. So we're gonna go through and open and value all the cards today and say, can we go through to the LGS and come out making some money? Are we gonna come out even on some of these things? And Akbro, a patron of the channel, gave five packs for me to open of his, so we're going to check these out at the end as a little bonus. So, we're going to start the tally at 320, and we're going to start with the Lord of the Rings box, and we're going to work our way over to Sorcery. And you guys know I open a lot of Sorcery product, but I don't tend to actually add values to it, but today we're going to. It was a box that was 125 prices are dipping because things have become kind of, you know... I don't want to say um, available, but you know, they're, they're, it's more available than normal. So we're going to crack some Lord of the Rings here, and we're going to start with that. And um, Lord of the Rings is like 160, which was pretty much like what the market is for it. I'm trying to collect a full set of uh, the relics and realms of the showcase scrolls of the regular variants of, of all of those. So we got our topper here, and we'll get to that in a minute or two, but... Let's start taking a rip through here. I don't really know what to expect. Usually I open up Lord of the Rings set boxes, to be honest. So uh, this is, oh, last March of the Ents already. This is a little bit different for me. And, uh, you know, I kind of need some of these for my set. So 160, last March of the Ents is like a $7 card, I believe, at least in foil. Uh, Fall of Gil-Gilead. Gilgalad, Gift of Strands, Second Breakfast. We're also looking for some rings, some uh, Nazgul, some Bowmasters, Mithril Coats. Um, there's a few things. There we go, a little foil, Land Roval. Doors of Durin, not a bad card. I actually play that in my Dragon deck as Hobbit Sting, Haunt. So, like, I, I ended up selling most of my Lord of the Rings cards in the past, so this will kind of help me get towards... Oh, where is Gale? I see a many partings. All right, all right. The Ring, Mountain, Rush the Room, Ransom. Again, we're after the um, Nazgul. After the Nazgul. And we're after today, like... Yeah, like I said, or how are we going to do value-wise? Can you walk into an LGS, buy some of this stuff, and do all right? Minas Tirith, all right. We don't need the old man there. They had some uh, collector's edition Lord of the Rings for 900 If it was like 600 I'd have probably done it. 900 is a big, big gamble. Foray of Orcs. Slip on the ring. So far, we're kind of taken to Pound Town here. We don't have anything too good. Elven Chorus. Okay, Barrow. Vendalore, Shire Terrace. We do have the Realms and Relics. You know, you pull something good out of that and everything changes. Gimli, Grand. Finland. Here, the Mirkwood Bats are doing something nice recently, too. And I'm recording this video pretty shortly after the banning of uh, Jeweled Lotus and the Mana Crypt, which is horrible news, guys. Absolutely horrible news. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Boromir. Okay, hello. Okay, quick beam. Lorian revealed. A couple bucks on that. I'll, I'll go through a lot of these later. Want to make the best use of your time. We got here. Lost Isle. Okay. Horses of the Bruneian. Morgul. Let's hit that box topper now. You ready for this? Rangers. Entish Restoration. That's a good one. Kind of like Lorian Revealed, right? Put these here for now. Let's hit this topper. Guys, the topper, this topper now, if you want to buy them, is $37. Remember I did that video just like a month or two ago where I was like literally opening these at a marathon? Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, I saw something, I think. Could have been Buckleberry. Could have been Dead Marshes. 
Could have been a bunch of things. Here we go. Boom, Barrow Downs. Bajuka Bog, nice. Bajuka Bog, Bajuka Bog. Oil, nice. It's not a bad hit, guys. It's like a 20 spot or something. Not bad, could be worse. Easterling, Mary, Denethor, Yarn. I mean, even these Lord of the Rings draft boxes are just going up. Everything's going up, Lord of the Rings. Everything Lord of the Lorien revealed again. Man, if we could only get Nazgul, as many as those Lorien revealed, right? Am I right? Okay. Island Lobelia? Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Bath Song. Little Nazgul. Again, prices will be up on the screen. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Let's see if Baradur. Let's see if sorcery will make or break us, too. If you don't know a lot about sorcery, you know, stay tuned. Watch it, right? We could end up doing really well. The bonus round will be those uh, uh, fallout. So that's just like bonus. We'll see how we do for Akbro. Flowering, that's a, that's a nice foil. The Shire, that's another good one that's going up. Not bad. Arwen's Gift. Merkwood Bats. Bats? The bats are doing something, I think. More foils. Planes. Stew. Shadow of the enemy. We don't... We want to see different uniques. Different. See one ring and boom. That's where we're at. War of the Last Alliance. Okay. Fiery. Roll. Trolls are doing stuff. You guys watching the Lord of the Rings uh, Amazon? Whoa! <laughs> Holy cow. There it is. Boom. There it is. Boom. So we got a Nazgul. We got a Barrow. And we got a ring so far. The ring is something to the tune of like $97 right now. This box was 160, right? Orcish bees. This is back to back craziness. Craziness on the Orcish bees. Now we are in the money, guys. So we're looking at 50, 97, maybe 20, maybe 10 to 11. Um, that this is this is now we're in the money. So the rest of this I can put in my binder, and um, you know. Make my collection right so this is this is what we wanted to do here this was great um the thought process was let's see if we can visit an lgs um buy some things um come home and do better than what we paid so i think we did that um i'm tempted to put one of these in a bearish case now that we pulled a one ring Radagast, all right, that's a great one. Gothmog, if you guys haven't seen the bearish cases either, they're pretty awesome. Troll again. Eh, I think these will be around long enough. I don't need to do. Gandalf probably isn't my last uh, box. Torment. You know, a lot of people go thrifting. I try to go LGSing. I, I travel around my city to all the different LGS and check it out and, you know, see what's going on. Um, try to buy some things, support them. So, fall, shift. It'd be crazy if we pulled another um, Nazgul. It'd be kind of wild. You kind of, Gandalf the Grey? That would be kind of wild. Shire Terrace. Okay. Mountain foil. Well, that ain't the best foil in the world, guys. Celebrimbor. Not Celebrimbor. Celeborn. I'm watching too much uh, Amazon Lord of the Rings. Man, was this a good... Pro Gandalf the White. I got that in Serialized, guys. Man, was this a good product, though. Holy cow. They hit the nail on the head with this thing. They hit the nail on the head. King of the Oath. The Mouth. Reprieve. 
Okay. I'm kind of liking the draft over the set, to be honest. If I have to, if I have to be truthful here. I'm kind of Lauren revealed again. I'm kind of liking the draft. We get a lot of good chances. There's more packs. You just get some good new display of power. You get some good chances. Am I right or am I right? Next, let's hit up our core packs. Core 2019. Um, we got Magic Origins. I picked up two Magic Origins packs. Core 2019. Really nothing moving in Magic Origins, guys, unless we pull foil. Pull foil, we might be we might be alright. Call of the ring. And that about does it. So this is a great box. Um, overall. Um, we got a lot of Lorian Revealed. We got a lot of Trolls. Um, you know, Trolls are like a buck a card. Lorian's a nice a two, three dollars a card in the non-foil. We got a ton of uh, dollar level foils here. Or sorry, dollar level rares in this stack. And some nice foils. And then we hit the money right here. This is this is what's going to pay. i probably sleep up that Nazgul. This is what's going to pay for the box. So... Um, you can kind of see why folks are spending that money on draft boxes for this, because it makes a lot of sense. Now, let's go ahead and get into Core 2019. Let's see what we hit. And if we hit a foil in either of these, it's going to be great. Um, this is just like a little fun mix of things today, just to try to see, can we get our value? And I'll value these two, right? I'll throw the values up on the screen here. Mess me up. Triumph? There's a lot of good 2019 stuff, guys. Resplendent Angel, though, was kind of destroyed, but... Stitchers? Herald? Crucible of Worlds! There's no way! This is, like, top card in, uh... In 2019. Uh, I don't know. What are we talking here? $15? $20 for this? Wild pull, guys. Wild pulls! That's some awesome... That's awesome. Well, I can probably say today we're gonna walk away in the in the positive. Sir, that's that's nuts. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Lava axe, knight, rocks. Well, this I love the core sets, guys. I'm kinda happy foundations or whatever it is is coming. I'm I'm a fan. Fountain of renewal. I like it. Poison tip, mist collar. And some stone query, no foil in the 2019. That's all right. We got some origins, and I'm feeling a foil here, guys. We got weight of the world. We really need a foil for origins to make sense. Caustic caterpillar, classic. Empath, look at that art. All right, tactics. Oh, mage ring network, nice. Oh, we do have a foil in here, guys. We have a foil. Soul Hoarder. Demon, whenever permanent owned by another player is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card and lose a life. Feels pretty good. Six is kind of high for a 6-6 six, six nowadays, but let's see it. And, uh, well, well, could have been worse. <laughs> could have been worse. All right, so, now, I'd like to see the value of that Foil Island, too, by the way. It's actually probably not too bad. Chandra's Fury. Grasp. Knight. Dragon Fodder. Cut another Caterpillar. We got, we got plenty working on a playset. Alchemist Vile. Okay. Yeah, I'm throwing knife. Tome. Colossus. Okay, okay. Colossus. Forest. And no foil at all. Okay. That was fun. Now, we got... Fallout coming at the end. Right now, let's get into some sorcery. So if you haven't seen sorcery, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have some shock face going on for folks that like sorcery because guess how much this box was, everyone? That's right, 125. 125. Now, if we can't make our money back on 125, maybe time to shut off the printers. We'll find out. We'll find out. Ready? Battering Ram. I have a good feeling, though, about this box, though, folks. Belfry. Okay. Hit. Scarecrow. Tufted. Teleport. Sleep. 
Okay. Okay, so far though, we're definitely doing well today. The Orc, Wrath of the Sea, okay, Fire Harpoons. Oh, yes. That's an awesome pull right off the bat, guys. If you don't know, this is a unique foil, and I expect it to play really well with Arthurian Legends, the new set coming out in just a little over a week. So, what a start to the box. Um, that's probably a $35 to $50 card right now. Some price. Oh, the prices will be up. That's like a dollar. Mix Aqua. That's another nice three, four dollars. That's great. I actually need that for a playset. I keep making playsets. Can't stop. Obviously, we're after a curio. If you guys remember, I made I pulled one the other day, where I was just like, didn't know I I pulled it, and uh, I want these set aside too. Didn't know I pulled it. And uh, I was like, why do I only have eight foils? Because every box usually has nine foils. I'm like, why do I only have eight foils? So I start going back through all the bulk. And I found this, like, West East Dragon. Like, wait a minute, why, is my, why do I have an Elite in my bulk pile? Like, how did I miss that? All right, Ultimate Horror coming in. That's one of our uniques. How did I miss that? And then um, I realized, I'm like, wait a minute. It's a West East, not an East West. It's a Curio. That's crazy. I can't believe I almost put that in bulk. So I messaged some folks that I, I sold some bulk to, and I was like, guys, ooh, nice, second unique. You may want to double check and go through all the bulk I sent you because there might be a surprise waiting in there for you. Who knows? Um, who knows? So I've opened a lot of this stuff, guys. I've opened a lot. Not gonna lie, opened a lot. It's fun to open. We got the crap. We got the crabs. One looks off with the foiling there, but I think it's right. I don't know. I'm not sure. It looks like it's a little off on the clouds. But I'll check it out in a little bit. Pretty nice. So I'm, I'm going to probably value that card. This one's only like a dollar or two. I'm going to probably give that a nice value up on the screen. Sedge Crabs isn't a lot. It's not going to be like a King of the Realm or anything like that. But Doomsday Device, again, nothing nothing crazy. Um, we're not seeing a ton of solid uniques yet. We are seeing a little clumping, because you usually only get seven or eight uniques in a box, and we've already got four, and we're only to five, and we're only down with the right side. So um, that's our fifth unique. That one's probably $5 or so. Loud. Blaze. Oh, great old one. That makes six. This one's a nice six dollars and seventy-one cents. Check me. File end. Okay. That's a level of confidence I have there, guys. What we got. Crown of the They were all they were all over here. Crown of the Victor is a nice one too. Entangle, Beast, Wall, Spin, Petrosian. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we have about six, seven uniques. Usually there's around seven or eight in a box. It varies. Polymorph. Okay. I gotta really focus when I'm opening these too, because like I guess I'm missing stuff, right? Holy cow. Flame wave. Petroge. Then we're gonna hit those uh, fallout packs after this. It'll be our bonus round. Oh, I see something coming in. Major explosion. Boom. And what do we got? A spark mage. Nice foil. This is one of the avatars, folks. So this is an avatar um, that comes in the precon decks uh, based around the air element. And uh, it's a really beautiful one, guys. This, was, this looks amazing in the summer. And these are around $15 right now, but I think they're a really good investment because... You know, as the game progresses and people want to get into sorcery. Um, I must throw away my dust, too, guys. Don't throw away your dust on the bottom of boxes. We'll go through that at the end. All right, well, I'll take a look. As the game progresses, people are going to want these oil avatars. Right? So, like, I think they're a really good investment. 
All right, hang on. There we go. Undertaker. Beast of Burden. Dead of Night Demon. Okay. Oh, we got another one. Please be a blink. It looks like a teleport, though, guys. It looks like a teleport. Um, I'll take it. I mean, believe it or not, guys, this is pretty pricey. Pretty pricey. These playable, real playable foils are, um, are a little pricey. Yeah, let's look at the back. Yeah, it looks awesome. So we've got four foils in, and we're four pretty solid foils, folks. Four pretty solid foils. Yep. Puppet Master. Landsman. Okay. This would be a summer wave, so it was uh there was another wave printed just because of the in incredible demand for the product. And in the summer wave, the colors are really vibrant. There's some ways to tell and things like that, but colors are really vibrant. Sea Raider. Geomance. Geomancer. Ooh, foil. And it looks like uh is it a wicker blizzard? Wicker mannequin it is. Nothing crazy there, guys. He is uh, definitely... Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with that cl those clouds in the foil there. He is definitely trolling us. Okay. Enchantress? See what happens? That's how... That's how things end up in the wrong piles. Age Slayer, Boar, Sea Serpent. Okay. This is a rarity, though, that I'll be valuing um, sorcery. I like I said, I typically, typically don't do this. Okay. Last row. Last row. Oh, seven league boots coming in for our eighth. Unique. Oh, and a foil. Looks like the big old tufted turtles. These things are menacing to play against, guys. Menacing. Absolutely menacing. Great card. Really playable. Um, first time they would take damage, prevent it. So it's like um, really hard to get the upper hand on that thing. All right, we got that. What we got here? Grandmaster Wizard. Great card. Nice uh, 3 or $4 value there. Boss Troll. Oh, a Blaze. I actually think I might need this, too. Um, I think I might need this for my Battle Mage deck. It looks really good. Oh, look, Elementalist, another one of the Avatars. Okay. Mage Slayer, Mortality, Vile Imp. Black Obelisk, okay. Eight quarters here. Scarecrow. Okay, Flame Caller. Self same, great card. Maybe summoned as a basic copy of a nearby minion. Pretty awesome. I do believe we have two more foils left, too. We still have a chance, maybe not, of pulling the Philosopher's Stone in foil. <laughs> Royal Bodyguard. Mage Slayer. Brown. Oh, double Aramos Mercenaries. Alright, you may discard a card at random rather than pay this spell's mana cost. That's kind of wild. Am I right or am I right? Back to back like that, too. I don't pull that one very often, guys. I have to tell you. I must say, infiltrate. All right, ball fire, blink, gray wolves, the puff, the puffer fish. I think we're doing okay. We're probably probably not far from even, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure that we're we're gonna break even at the moment, guys. Even with that unique foil pull and the spark mage and the Portisan Thais and uh, the seven leagues and the teleports our last foil i think coming in here we need it to be a big one guys oh the berserker oh alan pollock 
a great looking card. Sandworm, Vile Imp. Berserker. Look at that. Looks great. I'm pretty sure that's our last foil. Keep hunting for some curios, though, and uh, we're going to get into our bonus round. Our militia, Deep Sea, Wicker, Bats. Bonus round. Sunken Treasure, Chain Lightning, okay. we'll Purge, Benvail, Pirate Ship. Last pack, guys. Excellent, excellent haul today. Um, we did really well on the magic stuff. On the magic front, Mask of Mayhem, um, Bosk Troll, Unravel, Teleport. We did okay on this. I mean, this box was, I'd say, you know, the uniques were a little bit below average. The unique foils, on the other hand, were a little bit above average, in my opinion. So. Now, let me show you the dust here real quick as I get these off the board. I want to make sure everybody everybody has a good understanding of the dust. These are going to go right there for now. Dust! So you can get rewards by buying boxes and playing in your, in your LGS at events by scratching this off. So um, we do have some dust, and I want to make sure that I take that off the box and I put it in my dust collection. Yes, I have a dust collection. Now, on to Akbro's five Fallout packs. Let's pull something crazy for him. Um, these are Akbro's. He he stopped, he swung by the other day, dropped them off, and he's like, hey, open something good. That's what we're going to do. We're going to open something good. Captain, we got the Anthem. Temple. Okay. Sophia. Sulphur Falls. Path of Ancestry. Okay, Mariah, Sky Cloud, Marcus, Mantle, Wasteland Raider, nice, full of surge there, Temple, I love the temples, they just look amazing, Rampaging, Yao Guy, oh yeah, Ruska, and Caesars, okay, Caesars pretty decent, uh, let's go to the next path, really after that surge foil, Soul Ring, This is really fighting me. There we go. Planes. Enforcer. Bridge. Feral. Feral Gold. Nice. Oh, nope, oh, nope, oh. Nope. Feral Gold. Champion's Helm. Okay. Wild Waste. Sunken Hollow. Mr. Gutsy. Mr. Gutsy. Sulfur Fall. Scavenging Grounds. I see something. I secure a Tron. And a Farewell. Boom. Look at that. That looks great. It's a pretty good pull, guys. Great. At the island. Acropolis, the vault. Oh, I don't. Helios, one. Putrefy. E. Mechanized production, okay. Strong. Root them. Bog. Combat. Desolate Mire, okay. Watchful Radstag. And Armory Paladin. Alright, alright. Right, so far, that farewell, I think, in the Caesar. Caesar's not bad. I mean, it's not Surge, though. Planes, Vats, Scatter Grove, Ferris, Keeper of the Accord. We got the Death, Red Death, Blasphemous, Kek, 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 Urban Charge, another Red Death, Synth, and West Tech Tyrant. All right. What this is doing lately, I'm sure I'm going to know when I price the video, but. I haven't done Fallout in a little while. All right. Mountain. Temple of Silence. Ooh. Infesting Radroach. Nice. That's crazy. Our Fist. We got the Groves. Founder. Farmland. Arthur Maxon. Moldering Marsh. Okay. Fertile Ground. Nice. Look at that. Toxic, okay, Gem Razor, and Madison Lee. Madison Lee, nice. Nothing was Surge Foil. I'd say that Farewell was, like, pretty good. So overall today, guys, I think we did really, really well 
Um, we had some wonderful, wonderful Lord of the Rings pulls. We had some pretty good sorcery foil pulls and, and things like that too. So values up on the screen. I would say we, we came close to even, if not maybe a little above. So this was a great, uh, great experiment. And uh, I appreciate you guys being here with me today. Remember, check out my Patreon. Check out my Discord. Um, links in the description of the video. I very much appreciate it. We can, you know, you can join on Discord and check out the community and such like that. So um, you can get in on openings and ripping ships and stuff. And I, I do have some offerings here and there for some of the patrons. So thank you again. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and of course you know we'll see you next time this was this was fun talk to you later